Okay, so a very big welcome to this yin class. We have themed the class tonight um, around the earth and water elements, which um, is really quite beautiful because the water element relates um, to fear and to anxiety. And the earth element is related to overthinking. And so while they're quite different in terms of water is the winter element and earth is kind of our late summer element. So they're very different in terms of seasons. There's a lot of um, crossover in terms of where the meridians run and also just what it is that happens for us when they get out of balance. So to start, you might just need a couple of blocks if you don't have blocks because not everybody has yoga blocks you could just use a couple of cushions from your couch or even a little stack of books um, I've got a bolster here but again that's not something you absolutely have to have as long as you've got a couple of push our pillows from your bed just a couple of extra cushions because as I said our yin practice is about being in the holds for a lot longer period of time so we'll be sort of in our um, poses for three to five minutes but this is about getting out of that muscular effort and dropping in to um, targeting the connective tissue the fascia so that beautiful web that wraps its way around all of our muscles and our joints and ligaments and in holding these poses for much longer we're able to help with strengthening and flexibility in that. The other thing that I love so much about yin is that ability to try um, embody a practice of sitting with discomfort or anything that comes up and also to try to come into stillness, which we have very little of in our lives. But this is your practice. So if you uh, want to come out of a pose before I call it, come out of it. I'm going to give you variations to poses that will hopefully find something that works for your body. So listen to your body throughout this. So let's begin just seated together and we'll just begin with a little bit of um, dropping into our body and into our group. So wherever you are, just taking a comfortable seat, whether that's with cross legs or whether you're sitting, kneeling, or you might have a pillow or a bolster between your legs to take a seat. So find something that's comfy for you. And if it feels okay for you, closing down the eyes. Otherwise, just softening your gaze and looking down at the floor. Let's begin to bring our awareness to the breath. Just noticing for a moment here, without needing to change anything, where the breath is landing in your body right now. And some of us will be breathing high up into the chest. Others may notice the breath sitting down and landing into the belly. Just beginning to bring your awareness to your breath. And let's invite our breath with intention here so that the inhale is deep and nourishing, the exhale long and complete. And as you inhale here, perhaps allowing any tension, any gripping through the belly to release. The inhale, filling up the abdomen. The belly softening on the exhale. Our breath is this direct connection to our parasympathetic nervous system. That rest, digest and restore, tend and befriend. And it's something we've got access to any time, day or night, that we need 
a little break, time to slow down. And so as you're here, perhaps setting an intention for your practice today, maybe the theme spoke to you and you've been experiencing a bit of anxiety or overthinking or worry. Maybe you have an intention to leave behind whatever it was that was happening before this class just to remain present connecting with whatever intention feels right for you before we come into our first pose we're going to take a little polyvagal exercise here this is something that helps us to activate the vagus nerve and so what you'll do is just begin to tip your right ear over towards your right shoulder. If it feels okay, you can bring that right arm up and have it resting on the left side of your head. But we're not pulling or tugging here, just allowing the weight of the hand to guide the head. Notice if the shoulder's crept up, drop the right shoulder and bring the gaze up to your left. So we're looking as far left towards the top left hand corner of the room as you can. And these exercises help us to activate that vagus nerve, which is our 10th cranial nerve, it runs from the base of the brain and innervates down through the ear, through the face, past the larynx and pharynx and the neck. The heart, the lungs, the diaphragm, the digestion. And it makes up about 75% of the nerve fibers in our parasympathetic nervous system. It's just very, very involved with helping us to come back to a place of calm. And when you do this exercise on your own, you can be here for 30 to 60 seconds. Let's bring the head back through center, letting go of that hand. Then the eyes come back to neutral. And tipping the ear over to your left, left ear to left shoulder. Maybe the hand comes to rest. Gentle gravity guiding the ear down and then bringing the gaze up to your right. So we're looking the opposite direction to where the head is tilting. And what you may notice when you do these polyvagal exercises is that sometimes you'll experience a sign of that parasympathetic activation, a bit of release. And what that often feels like is a deep, spontaneous swallow or a sigh or a yawn tummy gurgle you may not feel these things maybe you'll feel a gentle settling I always find myself constantly having to swallow here of course this makes sense when we're in our parasympathetic nervous system we're producing saliva and our digestive system is on board and working mm, as you're ready let's bring the head back through center remove any props that you may have and we're going to come into our first pose which is going to be malasana or a squat um, so you could come to standing and come all the way down or you might be comfortable just coming up onto the toes turning the heels inward the toes outward and widening the knees into a squat position and what can feel really good and supportive here is to put a block underneath your sit bones so that you can actually just sit down onto the block. So this could be a pillow or books. If this isn't accessible for you, I'll show you an alternative. If it's just that you're struggling with your, getting your heels down, you can 
roll up a blanket or a towel and slide that under the heels. And if this is just not accessible, maybe your hips are not feeling happy with that today, then what you can do is just to come down onto your back into a kind of a happy baby pose. And it might just be letting the knees fall out to the side and supporting them, or it might be holding onto the feet, onto the shins or the ankles. So finding your version that's going to work for you. And we'll just be here for just a few minutes. It can be helpful to bring the palms into a prayer position so that you can use your elbows to push open the knees. Maybe closing down the eyes if that feels okay, softening your gaze. Now, water element is related to fear and anxiety. And the organs are the bladder and the kidney. Now, we adrenal glands sit just above the kidney. And for many of us, we end up in these dominant sympathetic states, so much rushing and stressing and doing. And our adrenal glands end up working very hard, producing cortisol and adrenaline and sending those signals to the body that we're under threat. Now, yin practice really invites us to turn inward and find some stillness. And just connecting with your breath here. Inviting those beautiful belly breaths. Just another few moments here. When our water element is out of balance, it's when we find a lot of anxiety, panic. We may find ourselves feeling insecure or withdrawing. It's like the body's anxiety is like the body's internal smoke alarm. We need a smoke alarm. Sometimes there's very real things going on, but a lot of the time that anxiety is going off. Smoke alarms, sending that signal because we've burnt the toast. As you're ready, let's come out of this pose. Maybe that means just dropping back onto your bum and let's just take some little windscreen wipers with the legs here. So just both knees over to the right and over to the left. Just a little counter pose. And coming back through center, we're going to take a butterfly pose here and I'd like to give you the options of which variation you'd like to do. So coming to a seat and bringing the soles of the feet together, you may be quite happy just staying here. It may be really lovely to pop a couple of cushions or blocks under the knees for some support. Then you've got your other two options for you today. We can take our reclining supported butterfly so bringing a pillow or a bolster behind us up against the lower back and lying back with perhaps the palms facing to the ceiling, maybe some blocks under the knees. And this opening 
reclining pose might call to you if you feel you need a little bit of opening and expansion. Otherwise, you might like to take a forward fold. So soles of the feet are together. Have a little play with how close to your body it feels good. And then we're just going to tip forward at the pelvis here. And you could bring the forehead to a block. Or you could put a couple of blocks down and a bolster and lean in here. So whatever feels good, most supportive to you, go ahead, get yourself settled. Take a moment here to get out any wiggles and jiggles, get comfortable. And as you're ready, just begin to connect with your breath. Dropping into a little bit of stillness here. One of the ways that I like to look at anxiety is that so often for us in our day-to-day -day lives, it can be an overestimation of a threat combined with an underestimation of our own strength and our own resources and our own ability to cope. While our bodies are designed to experience that sympathetic activation, so often we are in patterns of overworking and overdoing, striving, reaching. We end up in a place where this becomes a dominant force in our life. When the water element is in balance, this is where we find a sense of courage and calm. And also where we're able to connect with our creativity and a strong sense of purpose our sensitivity and our ability to be reflective. I'm just noticing here if any gripping or tension has crept in. Can you soften the jaw, the shoulders? Often we'll find in yin our thoughts drift or we have a sense of wanting to change our experience or get out of a pose. Can we just notice these things coming up? Without having to attach to them. And let's take Five more deep breaths here. In and out through the nose if that's accessible to you. Don't worry if it isn't.
Mm, when you're ready, slowly patting your hands back in or sitting up. Remove your props here. You might like to windscreen wiper the legs. Or you might like to just come to lying on your back for a moment. Let's all meet on our backs. Just for a few moments here. Feeling where you've been. Noticing sensation through the hips, the pelvis, maybe the back of the legs, the back line of the body. When you're ready, we will roll to our side. We're going to come into a pose now called sleeping swan. So you might be familiar with a pigeon pose. Um, so I'll just demonstrate and then demonstrate an alternative. So just coming to all fours, hands and knees, we're going to bring our left knee to our left wrist. Going to inch the left foot toward the right side of the mat or toward the right wrist. And then our right leg will go back. So in this position, what you might like to do to support your hips here is to place a pillow or a block under that left glute. And then we're going to come down into sleeping swan. So that might be coming to forearms, maybe resting your forehead on a block, maybe a bolster or a pillow underneath your torso coming to rest here so finding something that feels comfortable and that you could stay in for a few minutes if this is just not accessible for you today you could come into uh, a figure four so you could come to lying on your back place the left ankle over the left knee over the right knee sorry flex the left foot you might just be here or you might like to bring the right knee towards you and interlace the fingers behind the right thigh. So wherever you are, just finding your variation, your version that's going to work for you today. And it's important in our yin practice not to come to a full 100% of our stretch. We just want to maybe come to 50% or just finding that edge. If you experience any sharp or shooting pains or pins and needles, just come out. And settling here, finding some stillness. Connecting with your breath. And the other element we're working with today alongside the water element is the earth element. When this is out of balance, we may find ourselves with a lot of worries, maybe feeling erratic and our eating can become quite erratic. We may snack all the time or overeat or overshop or indulge in lots of sugar. Mm, the earth element relates to the stomach and the spleen. And so our stomach is our digestive, part of our digestive system. So when we're out of balance here, we find it hard to digest things in our life. We 
you may struggle with a lack of routine or being overly habitual. Just noticing any sensations or emotions that are coming up here. Quite an intense pose for the hips. And the psoas and the hip flexors, the hamstring, the glutes, places that we can store a lot of emotion. Five more deep breaths here. As you are ready, slowly pushing yourself up into your hands, moving that left knee back, maybe swaying the hips side to side a couple of times before coming over to the other side. If you're on your back, bringing the right ankle to the left knee, flexing the foot, maybe holding behind the back of the left thigh or staying on the floor here otherwise coming into sleeping swan the right knee toward the right wrist Let's inch that right foot over to the left maybe here you want to pop a block under the right sit bone if it's a long way from the floor maybe you've got some pillows and some blocks to come down to resting your forehead or perhaps coming all the way down to lying on the floor or on a bolster. Taking some time to adjust yourself, find a position you could stay in for a few minutes. When the earth element is in balance we find we can be compassionate and grounded and easier to show ourselves some love and be comfortable with who we are Let go of any gripping here, maybe softening the muscles in the face, the jaw, the shoulders. If you find yourself gripping onto the bolster or the mat, maybe you could even invite your palms to turn upwards toward the ceiling. We find ourselves gripping in life a lot, holding on to emotions, thoughts, worries. We could practice a little surrender and letting go here in our practice. This is a pose that can bring up a lot of emotion, sometimes anger, Sometimes sadness. Mm. Our hips can store a lot of tension and unprocessed emotion. I'm not here for too much longer. Just connecting with your breath.
Let's take five more deep belly breaths here. When you're ready, just coming out of the pose, removing any props and dropping yourself down onto your belly for a little rebound, maybe bringing the head to rest in the hands. And just noticing the beautiful feedback of your belly pressing into the floor on an inhale, softening away on an exhale. Just a few more breaths here before we come into our next pose. When you're ready, pressing yourself up and we're going to come into something called a toe sit. And I'll give you options here as well because this one's not very friendly if you've got any issues with your knees or your ankles. So a toe sit is we're coming to our knees like this. We're going to come forward and up onto tucking the toes underneath. I'd like to maybe pull that little toe out manually on either side so that all of the toes are tucked under. We're sitting on the back of our heels here. So some options are to slide a cushion under your bum, to slide rolled up blanket to support under the ankles here. Um, and then if this is too much, you could have a pillow and just come to sitting on the pillow and just even um, have the feet out flat behind you. So just finding something that works for you here. If it's all really um, not feeling so great, then welcome to come into a child's pose. Otherwise, just meet me here in a toe sit. And we won't be here for too long. Finding a little stillness here, connecting with your breath again. Noticing if you're gripping or tensing through the belly. We so often restrict and hold our bellies in. So we take a little bit of practice to train ourselves into that beautiful diaphragmatic breathing style. As we're here, I'd like to introduce you to a, another polyvagal concept called pendulation. It's kind of our ability to be with something really tricky or difficult or uncomfortable and then to shift our focus to pendulate to something that's neutral or safe. So perhaps just bringing your awareness here into that sensation that's being generated through the toes, through the ankles, maybe into the shins. Many of us start to feel a little squirmy or uncomfortable here. Let's be with that sensation for a moment. If you're not in your toe sit, maybe bringing your awareness just to any sensation that's calling to you in your body, a little bit of tension somewhere or discomfort. Mm, noticing what happens when we focus all of our attention onto this discomfort. And can we do that with non-judgment and acceptance? And then let's shift and swing our focus into an area that feels neutral. So a suggestion would be focusing on the palms of your hands. 
bringing your awareness to your hands. Maybe you give them a gentle wiggle. Maybe you just notice the temperature. Mm, what they're resting against. If this is feeling too much, you're welcome to lean forward or come out anytime. Otherwise, can we swing our focus again back to that area of sensation? Maybe the ankles, the toes. Being with this. Noticing what comes up. Perhaps resistance, judgment. Mm, switching one last time, bringing your awareness into your hands or another neutral area in your body. Connecting here. Breathing. And bring yourself forward. We're just going to really gently uncurl the toes. And come to sit back down onto the heels. Might be quite nice just to counter that stretch by bringing your hands behind you and just really gently, subtly lifting the knees off the floor if that's possible, bringing that stretch into the front of the feet, the ankles. Otherwise, you might be happy just kneeling for a moment or extending the legs out in front of you. Maybe reflecting here on what it was like to be with discomfort and what it was like to intentionally switch your focus to neutrality or safety in the body. And this is actually something we can practice with our emotions too. Can we sit and be with the tricky ones? And can we also teach ourselves how to Come out and focus on safety. Okay, coming out of your stretch here. And we're going to bring ourselves into a caterpillar. So just swinging your legs around out in front of you. Maybe walking the flesh off the sit bones here. And just sitting up tall straight through the spine, crown of the head up toward the ceiling. If this is really difficult for you to sit up straight in this position, you could bring um, a cushion or um, a, the, your bolster and just put it, tuck it under your hips here. So when you're tucking that under your hips, we also just want to make sure we're sitting just right on the edge of it, not right on the middle, right up on our bums, just on the edge. And so that it helps to tilt the pelvis forward. You might be quite happy here. And if you'd like to, we'll take a fold. And so get your props and make this a really nourishing, delicious, supported fold. And so you could be placing a bolster even lengthways and resting your forehead on it. Just here, if that's as far as the fold feels good for you. You could be stacking up some blocks and then your bolster and coming to rest your head. So find somewhere that feels accessible for you, somewhere that feels good for you in your body. Remember that we don't need to come to our full expression, our full edge right away. Settling into stillness again here, connecting with the breath. And wherever you are, if you um, are not having supports, it can be nice to just have the head resting or feeling supported. You could even stack the hands or maybe you want to Come up a little bit or go and find some support for the head. 
and just notice as well whether you might be gripping the ankles or the feet to pull yourself forward can you let go here maybe turning the palms up that feels okay and this pose really targets into that bladder meridian line that runs and the entire back length of the body. And so it's such a beautiful pose to help us to turn inward and a wonderful one if we're feeling a bit anxious, a bit racy. And if you notice your mind wandering, feeling frustrated or impatient or maybe just thinking about your to-do list or all the other millions of thoughts that pop into our head every day, just know that that's normal. It's what minds like to do. They like to wander off entertain themselves and just gently bringing your attention back maybe back to your breath your anchor to this moment or maybe back to the sensations in your body back to the emotions And stillness can feel tricky when we're used to rushing and doing and our sympathetic nervous system doesn't like us to be still. And this practice really helps us to cultivate dropping into our parasympathetic and finding some grounding, some space, some stillness. Mm, let's just take a few more moments here, maybe five more deep nourishing breaths. As you already slowly coming back up, it might feel nice to just lean back into the hands for a moment. A little counter pose here. It's opening through the front line of the body a little. And just feeling where we've been. And we're going to come into a child's pose now. So up to you, the version of the child's pose you'd like to take. You may bring the big toes to touch. You may open the knees into a wide leg child pose so the knees going out to the sides of your mat and bringing your hands out and your forehead down to the floor you might like to keep the knees together and have the hands out you might like to keep the knees together and have the hands alongside the body so just some support options for you here if it's tricky to have the bum toward the heels Slide a pillow between your bum and your heels here. 
you might like to bring in some support of a bolster between your legs if you're folding forward with your legs wide. So just see what feels good for you here. Make this nourishing. Our second to last pose. Let it feel good. Allow yourself to feel supported. And just knowing how deeply connected our emotions are. The nervous system is with the body. Just allowing yourself to sink and to let go. What is it that you'd like to release and let go of here? Noticing your forehead in contact with the floor or the bolster or a block. Visualizing that your mind, your thoughts are able to settle into quiet here. Worries just melting away into the floor. Maybe noticing your belly expand into the bolster, the cushion, or into your knees. If you've got a support or a prop there. With every exhale, can you sink a little deeper into the floor? Just another minute here. As you're ready, let's slowly bring ourselves back up. Move these props to the side. And take a, a seat and then roll your way down onto your back. You're going to come into a twist and I'll give you a couple of options your twist here okay so let's bring the feet to the floor the knees pointing to the ceiling our twist might be that we simply drop the knees over to the right might feel really nice here to place a block under the knees for support even between the knees you could make this a bit more of a bind so twisted roots perhaps so crossing the left leg over the right and then allowing the knees to fall to the right again maybe a block or a pillow under the knees could take a full bind allowing that left foot to wrap around the right calf and bringing that over I'm just going to take a really simple twist myself here today so Let's bring your arms out into beautiful wings, a T shape, shifting the hips over to the left, allowing the knees to fall to the right. Mm, wherever you are, whatever twist you've chosen today, you could complete the twist by 
Gazing over your left shoulder, closing down the eyes. And twists are a really beautiful way to balance out the nervous system to find homeostasis again. Almost imagine wringing out like a dishcloth here and squeezing out and releasing, letting go of anything stagnant or stark, anything you no longer need. And just another few moments here on this side. Bring your head back through center, knees up through center on an inhale. Settling in the middle here. Maybe feeling if there's any difference on the two sides of the body. And as you're ready, taking perhaps the same twist as you did on the first side and Twisting the knees over to the left. Maybe completing that twist by bringing the head to the right. And popping in place any props, anything that makes us feel a little more supported. And so you find yourself feeling a bit anxious or kind of stressed energy and twist is a really beautiful way to down regulate your nervous system this entire class is a beautiful way to down regulate with that neutralizing effect of a twist this is also a beautiful practice beautiful position for Anytime you're feeling a little flat and stuck and low, unmotivated. Mm, bringing us back with up-regulating the nervous system. Just helping to bring you to balance wherever you are. Let's Bring our head back to center, inhale the knees back to center. We're going to come into Shavasana for a few minutes here. So just finding a version of Shavasana that's going to work for you today. Stretching the legs out long, perhaps turning the palms up, arms alongside the body. Gentle tuck in the chin. Maybe it feels good for you today to place a hand on your heart, a hand on your belly. What feels good for you? I'm coming to stillness here.
beginning to intentionally deepen your breath. And bring a little bit of movement, maybe wiggling the fingers, toes. Maybe inhaling, stretching the arms over here, pointing the toes, big stretch like we've just woken up first thing in the morning. Mm, exhale, hands come back down, rolling to one side. Mm, gently, as you are ready, pushing into your hands. Coming up to a seat. Let's take one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Connecting with the breath again. Maybe revisiting the intention we set at the beginning of the class. Maybe Scanning through the body here and just simply witnessing how it is we are feeling, any sensations in the body, any emotions. Sending ourselves a little love, a little gratitude for showing up for ourselves here today. A little gratitude for the others here who showed up to practice with us. So thank you for your practice. I so appreciate you being here and I'm sending you all lots of big love and warm fuzzies. <laughs>